Now I stop. It is as a result of the momentum of the Biafra liberation today that necessitated this stupid and idiotic move of Southeast additional state. Without the momentum, would they talk of new state? How will new state solve the problem of the fact that we are under siege by the Islamic terrorist state called Nigeria, by the terrorist army? How will additional state solve the problem that Boko Haram are killing people all over Nigeria? How does a new state solve the problem that you do not have money to go to hospital? How does the new state solve the problem that you do not have good road? How does additional state in the Southeast solve the problem that you remain a second class citizen in your own country, in your own court country? How does that particular new state make you to become a president of Nigeria? How does that make you to have good school, good road, social amenity, social services, national insurance scheme powered by the government? How does this new state solve any problem, provide jobs, make you or make the unemployment rates to drop? How does this new state solve the insecurity, the full knee remanding and marauding around Biafra land, killing our people, trying to grab our land, and of course, ravaging the entire Biafra and other parts of Nigeria. How does that solve your problem? I have been listening to people commenting on the new national anthem. The reason I have not made a comment on that is because it is none of our business. But you see, this new state is our business. We can never allow it. And let me tell you, like I said, the Biafra Defense Forces are ready to take it to take this particular liberation to the next level. The level we are now is self-defense against those armed carrying criminals and terrorists in our land. The next phase of the self-defense is to go after those empowering and sponsoring them. Politicians, stay away from anything in the Southeast and South-South. Every senator must stay away you don't represent Biafra, you don't represent Southeast, you don't represent South South. The legitimacy has been taken away from you. Not the governors, not the senators, not the House of Representative members. You have lost legitimacy over anything Biafra, over anything South South. Let me just put it South South Southeast so you don't say you there is no Biafra yet. You have lost legitimacy, you have no right to discuss on behalf of the people of the South, South, and Southeast. And like I said, the Biafra people will take this war to your doorstep. Try it and see. After this particular warning this evening, let us see who is going to write his name under any paper saying you are distorting the map of Biafra in the name of representing them. And you will see how God will handle you. I want to make it again, and I want you people to call this particular, this particular segment today. I said, on behalf of the Biafra people, anybody seen trying to encourage the enslavement of Biafra people after they have given you a vote of no confidence and have delegitimized you, you come to impose a state. You declare yourself the highest enemy of Biafra from today. We will never accept any imposition of a state as it is not the solution to the problem of Biafra people today. We are looking for a permanent solution, not a temporary solution. Additional state does not solve anything. Rather, it will add to the pain. And it is going to open wounds that have healed because. When you hear them say, go with five states, I look at them and I laugh. Do you think that in this liberation of Biafra, we will listen to your Southeast and South-South? 
we will go to the foundation. The problem we are having today is a foundational problem. We will go to the foundation. Some of them will even tell you, oh, Igbo people should go. And Igbo, Igbo people should go with their five state. Who is talking about Igbo people? You have Igbo people in Benue state. You have Igbo people in River state. You have Igbo people in Cross River state. You have Igbo people in Delta State. You have Igbo people in those state. And they will tell you, Igbo people should go with their five states. Thunder will fire all of you. The one that doesn't have any direction. Overcoming poverty is not a tax of charity. It is an act of justice. According to Mandela. Many say that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. How have your education changed your world in Nigeria? Only in Nigeria that this particular quote doesn't make any sense. Because there you have the highest professors. And all the professors do is to rig a lesson to rig those who are uneducated to you know ascend into power. They rig those who are not educated, they rig illiterate, they rig those who were just coming from Mutu Park to become politicians into offices professors but is a common understanding that the word said education is the most powerful weapon which can be used to change the world this particular saying is not applicable to nigeria but it will be applicable to biafra biafra will understand the importance of these words we will make sure our women and children are protected. Today, many people are being butchered in Zamfara, in Jos. How many places will I mention and how many places will I omit? There are many places where people are being butchered every day. Nigeria doesn't care because they are not fighting for their own freedom. So long as those co committing this terrorism against indigenous people in Nigeria are not fighting for the division of Nigeria, they are welcome. Kill everybody, turn it to the Islamic State, and there is no problem. We are not only going to deal with Nigeria with those carrying guns. The time has come. You see this new state issue? Let it just continue. And the people that are from the South East and South South piloting this particular fraud, they will have a very big questions and issues with the Biafra people. They will know how angry we are. They will know that some of us have actually pulled our heart off for our freedom to come, to save generation unborn. A government that uses force, violent to enforce its policies must be resisted and responded with violence. When they tell you that uh, the Biafra people today are violent, you ask them, when they were killing you in a bar, when they were shooting you and putting your body the body of your colleagues into the river. Was it act of love? That was not act of love. But today, you have risen up to say, I have known my right and the right to self-defense have been activated by the Biafra Republic government in exile. We are well armed. Very well armed. Biafra Defense Forces are ready to take down any terrorist in uniform.
anywhere in their land. And like I said, the 300 people that have been reportedly killed in our bar, there will be consequences and the revenge is coming. It will be very overwhelming. I am telling you the fact. Biafra Defense Forces will retaliate ruthlessly. This is not the time you are going to kill everybody and expect us to keep quiet. Three hundred people, innocent people, have been reportedly killed by Nigerian military terrorism army. According to them, they say they are revenging what happened in Aba. And I promise them today, the Alpha Liberation Army will respond with overwhelming response. And after this episode, after this episode. They will know that we are all mad. Our freedom, the life of our people, is very precious to us. In the past, maybe in the past, you have done that and go free. That's why the criminals are quickly to come and debunk their expos the exposition we made against them. We saw them shooting. They are France and dropping them in the river. Because that is what gave us the legitimacy to deal with them. Even we don't know what is going on. They know why they rush to come and debunk it. You know, and I like the word debunking. They are debunking. Because when you are debunking something, it does not mean it is not true. And listening to the disjointed, disjointed statement, you will find out how they lie. Because they don't even know how to lie. This is a nomadic system. Well, like I said, I have come, and many of you have come, to make sure that Nigeria pay dearly for crimes against our people. We will give them water, water in the coming days. And any of you who think you can come to Biafra land as a Biafran, serving under them, write your will. We don't know you. So long as you carry gun in Biafra land, wearing Nigeria army uniform, you are a gunner. We demand the withdrawal of all of you. You must be withdrawn. Delegitimization have taken place and you don't have any legitimacy over Biafra. We have done that for the past three years. Giving you sit at home, Biafra obeyed. You threaten them, they obeyed. You threaten with their work, they obeyed. You say if they don't come out, you close their shop. You even went ahead closing some of the shops. Yet, they stood their ground. What else do you want them to do? They have rejected you. They have rejected you completely. Today we have over 30 million vote for Biafra. 30 good million of Biafra people have said, please declare Biafra for us. Remember that when Mazen Amdekano was shouting and preaching on Radio Biafra, somebody asked him, when are you going to declare Biafra? He said, when our people are ready. Today, they are ready. They have given the mandate in the first phase of the referendum. That's why when we are doing this thing, some people don't understand. Calm down. We know what we're doing. We will get the mandate of Biafra first and then strike Nigeria like never before in the history. After 2nd of December, Shineke God who made me, after 2nd of December, Nigeria will see hell. Terrorist state of Nigeria will see hell. I know Musa is listening to me. This particular word is going to Musa. Musa is a terrorist who have volunteered himself to serve. Yet he can't come to the southeast and south south to fight. They say Samonepa come to Nigeria. What business do I have with Nigeria? I was not in Nigeria. I didn't left Nigeria because of Biafra. 
I didn't left Nigeria because of Biafra. I am already married somewhere before joining Biafra struggle. What am I doing in Nigeria? What is my business with Nigeria? You should start by telling me to come to Biafra land. Maybe that makes a lot of sense. And the only sense it is going to make for me is that you will be talking Biafra instead of Nigeria. So it will create this particular awareness that I want. So don't stop telling me, come to Nigeria. Tell me to come to Biafra. I will listen to you. Then I know that you have validated Biafra. But you continue to tell me, come to Nigeria if you are a man. Go to do what? I choose how I fight you. And I'm fighting you from afar. I told Biafra people from the beginning that we will bring Biafra from diaspora. Is it not happening? Is it not happening for the very first time? Criminals are talking about regional government. Real government, but walk there. You think you have monopoly of violence? You think you're the only one who knows how to shoot gun? You think the only one? We will revenge the killing of these 300 people in Aba. Go and mark it today. Biafra will revenge in a very, very heavy manner. And for the past few months, I have been shouting it. One day you wake up, Obinze is gone. We will start from there. I know that they have uh, laid many with many explosives in Obinze. They don't know where when the when the Biafra forces will come there. They have buried many explosives, waiting for Biafra forces to come. We will shock you. We will shock you. You will know that that thing you buried in Obinze. Waiting for our men to come, you will be shocked. The day is fast approaching. This war you declared on Biafra, you can never win. You can never win this war. You can never, ever, ever revive Nigeria again. Never. Nigeria is gone. Because it was a false country with false foundation that were never meant to stand. It was not for the progress of the people. It's for a business interest of certain people. And many Biafrans, millions of Biafrans all over the world have come to understand that it is time to fight this once and for all. When people say, oh, the Mandela said he was prepared to die. That was one of his uh, famous speech in 1964. Why he was on trial. And many will tell you, oh, Mandela was fighting from forefront. Mandela was fighting from the front. Uh, everybody who fought the war was in the front. Who told you that I am going to fight like those who fight in the front? I will not fight like those who fight in the front. I will fight from the back. My own is fighting from the back. And are you not seeing the result? Are you not seeing the result? You say so I will never come to Nigeria. The Biafra Liberation Army commanders are in Biafra land. Deal with them first before you talk about Simon Ekpa. They are there with you. You are looking for somebody who is not there. When you see them, you see me. When you see Biafra com Army commanders, you see me. That is me there. Who told you that if I want to come, I will not come and, and fight like them? But you know what? I choose how I fight you. And you can never change anything. Your nonsense propaganda cannot change anything. I have volunteered and sacrificed my life to make sure that Biafra people are liberated from this enslavement. It does not matter what it takes. It will happen. And the beginning of the liberation and freedom of Biafra will start from the 2nd of December. 2024. Nothing 
in this and on this planet will stop the declaration and the restoration of independence of Biafra. Come second. All right, wonderful people. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as it is hot. In case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one. Collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as it is hot. You don't share it for the Obodo. Uh, kata kata don't do again because uh, I need open camera uh, and then make was as it be for today will be democracy day make a day bring you uh, information this one na democracy day where it be say na inside Nigeria uh, because me at the time my people some people here they sometimes they ask me uh, they say your corpus uh, why do you like bringing uh, what is happening in Nigeria, this and that, that you are not supposed to be bringing it? Um, sometimes, I, they are my followers. I love them. I love you. I love you people. Without you, uh, this channel would not have been moving as fast as it is now. Uh, but what I'm trying, I will just do an explanation for you so that you will be able to understand. Uh, what I try, uh, what you need to understand now is that the Biafra, the part of Biafra that uh, we are still looking at, has not yet come. The the flag have not been lifted in Nigeria. It's a walk, and it is going to take time. Like I always tell you, that whatever that concerns freedom is what we do with patience. You have to have patience to be able to follow freedom. Now, this is where your people are still domiciled. For example, you are a Biafran, you are in America. But remember that you have people who are still in the Southeast, in the South South, and all the territories that, of course, you know, according to prophecy, and, and according to prophecy, where the Biafrans are supposed to conquer, because it is a prophecy. That's a prophecy. But some people don't know about it. And if you watch this prophecy, you find out that it comes like a spirit upon each generation. After Odume Gojuku, even before Odume Gojuku came, the Igbos themselves have already known themselves. They have their tradition. When the amalgamation of the white man came, they were not happy about it, but because people who are Igbos are already democratic in nature, they are, their system is already a democratic system. It's a system whereby you cannot take on your fellow neighbor because there are certain rules and regulations to checkmate what you are doing. And then, our elders then are truthful men, you know. They have a man that if you go to his house, you get a truth out of what you are saying. I don't know if you are getting the point. Now, when the white man came, he saw all these things. I found out that the only way to conquer these people is that divide words and rule. I'm going to make these people give power to, the, uh, to the, the most obedient ones that are to you, playing according to your rules, then leave the other one. But let's not go into that side. Even before then, our forefathers have had the prophecy of a land. That's why now you are still here. I have to be bringing you information. Today is Democracy Day, June 12. And today, the chief legal representative for Mazenan Nikan, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Aloy Ejimako, boldly declared on Wednesday that Igbos are the main victims of democracy. Ejimako expressed his opinions about democracy on social media site as calling it a hollow system devoid of the essential tenets of equality before the law and the free speech, asserting that democracy is a fair without tolerance for free speech and equality of all below the law. The constitutional lawyer highlighted free speech crucial role in democracy in his article. Ejimako did not mind words in his assessment 
asserting that Igbo people have borne the brunt of democracy deficiencies. He pointed to the alleged misuse of illegal processes to suppress individuals like Nam De Kano as evidence of the systematic injustice faced by Igbo community. Ejimako challenged others to refute his claim, urging to prove me wrong. This statement comes in the wake of Ejimako's accusation against Yusuf Bisichi, Director General of the Department of State Service and the Nigerian government for disregarding court orders regarding Kano's case. Ejimako specifically highlighted the failure of the DSS to grant Kano access to his legal team in a secure and suitable environment as directed by the court. Nan De Kano, currently held in a DSS facility in Abuja, raised concerns about the in inadequacy of, of space to confer with his local representatives in preparation for his defense. Ejimako's notice to the court underscore the importance, the importance of Odu's Kano's right and ensuring fair treatment by legal standards. As tensions continue to seminar around Kano's case and broader issues of democracy and human rights in Nigeria, the Jamaica Boka stance shed light on the challenges faced by marginalized communities and the ongoing struggle for justice and equality within the democracy framework. Even people that don't see actually happen for that particular matter today. Um, another one. Uh, MA, uh, don't they deny say they no attack uh, IPOB camp? Uh, and uh, MA, uh, they deny that one. But uh, you get one powerful thing uh, where we say it happened between the Enugu, uh, between uh, Imo State, uh, where uh, police clashed with government and um, the police people there uh, uh, lost their life. I remember that the trending pattern now is the fight for monarchy is happening in Kano, is also happening in Anambra state. Uh, uh, they say that they are vowed to recognize a side monarch in Anambra. Some community gathered and aside some monarch, you know. Emma, some of these things are conspiracy, they are conspiracy because power. Uh, this thing called power is very intoxicating and absolute power corrupts and sometimes in africa you find that the leaders want to have absolute power they don't want to be under control it's not that uh, other countries the westerns don't use power they use their power but in using this power they allow the law also to checkmate them so you find that if you are able to beat the law if you are faster than the law you get what you want but uh, in Nigeria, in Africa, in Nigeria, they step on the law. They, they, they don't allow the law to exist, which is making it unfair game. The, game that, the games that is being pl played in Africa is unfair. Because where the rich takes it all, and the poor cannot, can never, ever, ever have opportunity to come to the top. Because everything is all about money. And that's why the country is falling. No values. No values in the country anymore. That's why the country is falling. Everything is all about money. The the president is there just for the money. The local government chairman is there just for the money. Uh, the everybody you see there, all for the money. Oh, just for the money. I'm be honest with you. That is why uh, even. In the house, in the house that you think that they are together, they are no more together. Look at look at what is happening in Kano between Samusi and the other man. That's power tussle. This person wants to become the 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 Samusi, the Emir of Sokoto of Kano, Emir of Kano. The other one wants to become the Emir of Kano. And now the Emir of Kano, which was known from time origin, is not is not a contest before. Before the Hausa people know who, who is the Emir, they are not contesting it. But now things have changed. Politics, everything now is all about power, politics, and the money. And you see that 
the leaders in this end of the world does not care about what happens to the poor man and not even about what happens to the poor man the development of their community their town their government their constituencies where they are supposed to develop those places are not developed i'm being honest with you you see them on land cruisers they come to some little little churches uh, they give offering maybe a reverend calls them in the church instead of the reverend telling them look at what you are supposed to do for your people uh, they give Reverend 500,000, say they are supporting bazaar. What is supporting bazaar? The road to the place they are doing the bazaar, the road is no good. It's not tight. There is no electricity. There is no industry. There is no transformer. These are the things that you are there to represent for the people. To make sure that these things, these social amenities are provided in that particular community. And you are there. What you do is that when you go to churches, you donate money. That's, that's not politics. That's not how to do it. No, no, not money, my food. All right, wonderful people. Um, I see the bill. Uh, you know, say uh, that one. I still got. Uh, make can I hear the one and the person?